Hello everybody and welcome back to someone Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again and this time I think I'm going to jump back in as Atom because it's been a little while since we played as Atom. And yes, we uh, we started out with a golden shovel here. I do remember us getting quite a few golden items for this guy. We also have one of the alternate skins for this dude as well. But yeah, golden shovel off the bat is uh, pretty goddamn incredible. The shovel is one of the better melee weapons early on. But yeah, with this guy, we get to teleport. Um, it's pretty useful. We can teleport onto enemies to deal damage to them like that look. Um, it's, it's relatively risk-free, but if the enemy's got a lot of HP, it can be a little bit problematic. As soon as you get, what's it called, um, the thingy skin. What the hell's it called? The one that makes you take no contact damage. Becomes a lot better. Gamma Guts, that's the one. I was getting confused between Gamma Guts and Rhino skin. Because, obviously, I was thinking something with skin in the name. Um... We're gonna go with... Impact wrists, I think, considering we're using melee right now. Seems like the way to go. I just love seeing everything get smacked about. You think you're a big man, do you? You think you're a big man? Well, you've been absolutely slapped and devastated. We've got quite a lot of experience so far here. A lot of rads going through us. Um, there you go. There's Gamma Guts. So we can use our teleport a little more aggressively now, which is rather nice. Obviously, we still, we still got to be careful with it. It's not something that we can just go crazy with. But on bigger enemies, it means it's way more viable. There you go. Easy clear. We're clearing stages like crazy here. Um, we'll go with Eagle Eyes, I guess. I guess I, th I thought Eagle Eyes affected this melee weapon. It definitely does. Okay. Flame Shotgun, I think I'll take as my secondary right now. Not that I'm really using anything but this, but still. It's also just nice for traversing around the map. I've taken a lot of damage I shouldn't have taken thus far. I'm really liking knocking enemies into other enemies right now in areas like this, because these explosive guys are a bit of a nuisance for melee and we don't have to deal with them as much. I think we've got this bad boy unlocked here. Yes, we do. I didn't even mean to go through here, but we've gone through now. Um... I think taking alien intestines when you um, when you teleport around, being able to do an extra strike of... Yeah. Do you know what? That worked really well. So well that I accidentally killed myself. Now, let's have a little look at Atom again here, because we need to see if we... Um... Oh, there's a new update available. My bad, I should update. Uh, sea skin, complete five levels in a row using Crown of Haste as Atom. Okay. That sounds decent enough. And this time we've got the Power Glove. So kind of a similar a similar vein to what we were just doing, to be honest. Not bad, not bad. I mean, we might as well take the screwdriver, try and unlock some more golden weapons. Yeah, the Power Glove's a pretty good starting weapon as well. Not quite as good as Golden Shovel, I wouldn't say, but just because it's got a bit more risk attached to it. But damage-wise, oh boy. It 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 puts out some it puts out some serious serious hits. Yeah, alien intestines, very good. Just might need to be a little more wary, little more wary of the fact that um, it could actually cause us some serious bodily harm if I'm not more cautious. Because <laughs> I didn't consider that, and it it uh, it did what it did. That's all I need to say. It did what it did. Yeah, you can see how quickly with this we're able to, like, just clean through stages. It's kind of nuts, really. Only thing is about this, obviously, with it being a melee weapon that's so good, it does use ammo. A lot of them that like this do. Right, so we've got our car going. We're ready to sail away. Double flame shotgun. There you go. See, we don't even really need to teleport at this stage, because we've got this fist that's basically teleporting us right now. 
Uh, I'm going to take Scary Face here. We get ourselves a Golden Splinter Gun. Lovely. They're a little careful with those rocket guys. But that was pretty clean. Pretty clean. I'm really liking starting with the Power Fist here. Now that was a little bit saucy, wasn't it? So I think from now on we'll uh, keep our distance a little bit. There you go, that worked out pretty nicely. Um, and then we'll take... I'm going to take Alien Titans again. Knowing that obviously it's a bit dangerous. But being aware of its danger and working alongside it. We got an inverted portal in here, which I wasn't expecting to see, but always happy to see. Now, health is getting a little bit risky. Bouncer on this bad boy, maybe? Yeah, bouncer on this seems pretty good. We'll take Rhino Skin, considering we're near death. And I guess we'll put Herming on this, but I don't really know what that means. Now, this is clearly a much, much smaller room. So I'm kind of worried. Yeah. <laughs> Decidedly so. I should have been worried. Um, so this time we start with the Laser Pistol, which I think is our default weapon as this guy. Oh, God. I feel so weak. I'm not just demolishing stages instantly. It feels rough, man. Okay. Yeah, so let's let's go with this again. We're very low on ammo on this. Luckily we have other ways of dealing damage once our ammo is gone. Got a little bit back though here. Let's see what we're going for out of the weapon here. Mini lightning pistol I don't think is going to be super good for us. We'll go with item drop on this, I guess. Yeah, lovely. Now, I do wonder if alien testing is going to be good if we spam. Not really. Because obviously it charges up over time, so you don't really want to be spamming it. Did insta-kill that guy, though. We do have double item drop on our weapon currently. I'm, I'm interested to know, with wep with item drop and weapon drop on, on weapon modifications, does that mean anything that dies while it's in your hand drops more? Needle. Or does that mean anything killed specifically by that drops more? Because I'm actually not sure. I'm actually not so sure. It'd be good to get some clarity on that. Hmm. Had a feeling there was uh, something left. Hey, we get Nerf of Steel here. Replace three health with one armor. Eh, it's not super good for us. Let's take Tough Shell instead. I did it again. I did it again. There was a car right there. And I was just like, hey... Wouldn't it be fun if I walked right into that? I have a problem, people. I have a problem. Also, we started with another pretty good golden weapon here, the Flare Gun. Very, very good AoE. We like to see it, and we get another inverted floor as well. Lovely. Early inverted floors are what you want to see, because they're just so good for XP. So good for rads. And they're not that much harder. The only thing that's really hard about this inverted is the boss is just kind of rough. With the explosive shots and stuff. Cool. 
cool. Um, take that. Take that. And then what did we want to say? Crown of Haste, I think it was that we wanted. Complete five levels with Crown of Haste. Crown of Haste. There you go. And now we can start with Crown of Haste if we don't get it done this run. Now, Crown of Haste means that all drops are worth more, but they do disappear much quicker. Which means that all of our rads are going to disappear quicker too. Double lightning on this thing. It's kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever had double lightning before. I don't know if it does much to help, but... I'm going to pretend that it does. Cool. Maybe we can get triple lightning. Just go with Rhino skin here, I think. It does seem that we're seeing a lot of lightning like spread forth from the initial hit location. Trying to make sure I get in there to get all my rads and ammo and that. Otherwise I'll miss out. Okay. This weapon, is, like honestly a lot of the golden weapons can just carry you so goddamn far if you're willing to work with them. I kind of like that. And then you swap out your weapon once it gets a little bit harder later on, but early game you're pretty much golden. My guy, just die, thank you. We've got a choice here. Inverted floor or portal. I'm going to take the portal. Um, boiling vein seems like a good idea. A triple lightning. Yes. It let me do it. I really hope this actually does something to improve it. I don't exactly know how it works. But I've, I've never ever had triple of one mod modification. It seems to be working pretty well, to be fair. I mean, based on that kill speed, it seems, seems pretty effective. Don't know how many rads we're missing out because of this crown of haste here. It seems like maybe a lot. <laughs> kind of hard to tell what's fire damage and what's lightning damage. In terms of the actual damage ticks. I mean, we can't be missing out on that many drops because we're keeping up with our ammo demands. We've been spamming the hell out of this thing. We've not really gotten too close to running out of ammo yet, so... In that regard, things aren't too bad. All good? Yes. Hey, there you go. We did it. I didn't think it'd take too long. Honestly, plutonium hunger when we're missing out on drops potentially all the time, it's a good idea. You can see how much bigger the room is in the non-inverted version of this. I opted for taking a different gun there, because I don't think this thing's super good against single target, to be honest. Yeah, Plutonium Hunger was a, a very, very good idea for us here. Not really use my teleport ability all that much this, this run, but I don't really feel like we've had a super need to. Kraken gun. Be nice to soup up a Kraken gun. I'd love to see like a Kraken launcher with plus three Kraken on it from weapon mods. I think that'd be pretty kooky. There should be... Do you know what? That that would be... I, I, it's, it's a lot of work, understandably, so I wouldn't expect this to actually happen. 
But if the developer's listening, a really cool idea would maybe be to have some sort of, like, super weapon mod if you get three of the same one. Um, if you manage to get three of one weapon mod, it, it, it like, gives it a boosted power. Because it does seem like, at least from what I'm seeing, that having three lightnings is doing something. It does seem to be making the lightning more effective. I don't know if it's proccing more, or it's got more damage or more range, but it definitely seems like it's doing something. But it'd be cool to see, like, yeah, if you get three of one thing, it does something extra. It has, like, a bonus on top of it sort of thing. Where's the last few guys here? I don't know. Oh, hello. Like a whole little alleyway down here. Oh my god, there's so much down here. What the fuck? I had to use my teleport then to dodge out the way of stuff effectively. Right. Where we go? Uh, Throne butt, explosive teleportation. Kind of interesting. Um, I think Nefs of Steel at this point when we have this much HP is a good idea. We'll take flame on this thing. And we'll exit to the next area. We have to fight our little hunter boy. Okay, you can definitely tell that this weapon is falling off now. Wow, you just landed right on top of me, didn't you? Okay, we might be dying here. Yeah, he just landed on me multiple times. That felt a little unfair. Right, quick restart. Hey, we got the shovel this time. Sh I think melee weapons with this guy really shine. Because you can teleport right next to the enemy. And then melee them. I want to uh, pair that with uh, trigger fingers, actually. That'd be, qu that'd be quite fun. Right, let's try the explosive teleportation. Um, what What bullet was that? I've not seen that bullet before. A green... Was that one of the scorpion bullets, maybe? Why did it kill me in one hit? Was I at that low health? I didn't think I was. Wow, that was a really bad first stage. Like, no XP at all, though. Sometimes you get unlucky, though. Right, let's try and go a different way this time, because we've been kind of going the same way every time. Finish the rest of the stage first game. Okay. Cool. Um, guess we just go a rabbit's paw here. Good stuff. We should check out what the other skin is as well after this run. I kind of forgot about that. Kind of forgot the whole point of unlocking a new skin is to see it. Only one HP, so we might be seeing it sooner than I thought. Yeah, Gamma Guts is working out for us. This, this area is actually not too bad for us right now. I'll take that as well for easier kills. I love it when you can just like completely dance through an entire area of enemies and kill them all. Feels really satisfying. Got the contact damage did a did a hell of a lot to that guy. I like to see it. Um Bloodlust maybe? And this area starts to be a bit more understandable. Where this thing falls off a little bit. I mean, I've almost died already. Mini plasma rifle. The travel time of those projectiles is a little long, I'll be honest. But even at one health, I go for it. Even at one HP. <laughs> walk right into that guy. Right, go to the main menu. Atom. Show me your other skin. 
Oh, yin and yang. Nice. Yin and yang. Let's start out with a crossbow this time around. Do a bit of a crossbow run. Oh, yeah, I really like the yin and yang. That's nice. Seems like a character you can do a lot with alternate skins on. Okay, this is an insane level for, uh, for rads. There is so many of these corpses. It's kind of insane. Amazing. That was very, very good. Hey, and we get Bolt Marrow off the rip as well. God damn, this is beautiful. Level 3 already. Uh, trigger fingers, why not? What we got here? Director rifle? Eh. We don't need extra fire out where we're going. Give me that as well. Oh, almost level 4. That would have been crazy. 4 stages, 4 levels. Good way to be able to make sure we get rads is just to teleport onto him, I suppose. Beautiful. God damn. Um, don't really know. I think Scarier Face is probably a good one to go for here. And then they're able to just chop through all these guys. Again, try and take out everything else before we deal with Fish Boy. He's just a nightmare. Luckily, his little mouth grabby thing that I hear, I can just teleport away from. Explosive Slugger, yes please. I will take an Explosive Slugger. Goddamn, level up wise, this has been absolutely insane. Um, we'll take Power Craving. And we will take Rhino Skin, I think. I'm liking Trigger Fingers on this run as well. It's feeling useful. Got an Inverted Portal there. That increased Inverted Portal chance is already paying off. We'll just go straight down. This Inverted area, I remember, being kind of tricky. So let's... Uh, take our time. Yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of electricity and shit going on. Get some morph on this, turn things into sheep, I guess. Cool. Straight through. Put something else on it. Probably Kraken, since it seems like we've already got some some form of herming on it. A little bit low on ammo right now on it, to be honest. Probably just want to use the explosive uh, slugger on this guy, to be honest. Yeah, that works out pretty well. Gosh darn, I'm happy. Happy with this setup. Okay, we're level 7 already. God damn. And I think we'll take... Bloodlust. With a higher HP, it seems to make sense to me. Ooh, I like having Kraken on this. The reach of Kraken is very nice. Remember, we can put four things on a weapon now, so we can go through here and get another choice. More levels up coming our way. There's just a basic crossbow as well, it's a crazy thing. Uh, reload speed, herming, 
Bouncer and Weapon Drop. I think I'm going to go with Bouncer. Bouncer always seems pretty good to me. And through we go. Nothing up that way. Bit of ammo there. I did hear Little Hunter around. I don't really know where he's residing right now. I'm very confused on what's going on right now. Thank you for dying, my guy. You were getting a little bit worrisome there. Beautiful stuff. Lightning screwdriver, I don't think we need for right now. Are we not affected by webbing as this character? Or did I take extra feet? I don't think I did. Does this character like technically fly or something? Ooh, what? I didn't know that insta killed me. That's really upsetting. That was a really fun run. Oh, God. Damn, I think we're going to leave it there for this episode because that death has truly defeated me. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.